Let's discuss the venous system of thorax and abdomen. The right and left brachiocephalic vein joins to form superior vena cava. The superior vena cava then drains into the right atrium. The tributaries of each brachiocephalic veins are vertebral veins, inferior thyroid veins, thymic veins, first posterior intercostal veins, and the internal thoracic veins. Now let's concentrate on the external iliac veins. External iliac vein is the continuation of common femoral vein after it crosses underneath the inguinal ligament. The tributaries of external iliac veins are inferior epigastric, deep circumflex iliac veins, and pubic veins. The internal iliac vein joins with the external iliac vein to form common iliac vein. The tributaries of internal iliac vein are superior gluteal vein, inferior gluteal vein, internal pudendal vein, obturator vein, lateral sacral vein, vesical venous, plexus, middle rectal veins. And in females the tributaries also include uterine veins and vaginal veins. The common iliac veins join to form the inferior vena cava in front of the body of L5 vertebra. The tributaries of common iliac veins are iliolumbar vein and ascending lumbar veins. The median sacral vein drains into the left common iliac vein, or sometimes in the angle of junction of the two common iliac veins. The inferior vena cava passes upwards, on the right side of the abdominal aorta. It pierces the central tendon of the diaphragm, at the level of T8 vertebra. And it drains into the right atrium. The tributaries of inferior vena cava are, a pair of inferior phrenic veins, hepatic veins, a pair of renal veins, right suprarenal vein, right gonadal vein, and lumbar veins. The third and fourth pairs of lumbar veins drain directly into the inferior vena cava. The first and second pair drains into the ascending lumbar vein. The left suprarenal vein and the left gonadal vein drains into left renal vein. The right subcostal vein joins with the right ascending lumbar vein to form the azagous vein. Sometimes azagous vein arises from back of the inferior vena cava as lumbar azagous vein. The azagous vein ascends in the posterior mediastinum. Opposite to T4 vertebra, it arches forward and drain into the superior vena cava. The tributaries of azagous vein are posterior intercostal veins of right side. Except the first vein. As the first posterior intercostal vein drains into the right brachiocephalic vein. The second, third, and fourth posterior intercostal veins unite to form the right superior intercostal vein, and it drains into the azagous vein. The rest of the posterior intercostal veins drain separately into the azagous vein. The left subcostal vein unites with left ascending lumbar vein to form hemiazagous vein. The hemiazagous vein enters the thorax, and drains into the azagous vein at the level of T8 vertebra. The hemiazagous veins receive lower three left posterior intercostal veins. Hemiazagous vein communicates with the left renal vein. The accessory azagous vein receives blood from fifth to eight posterior intercostal veins and drain into azagous vein at the level of T7 vertebra. The left superior intercostal vein is formed by the union of the second to fourth left posterior intercostal veins. And it drains into the left brachiocephalic vein. The first posterior intercostal vein on the left side also drains into the left brachiocephalic vein. The esophageal, pericardial, and mediastinal veins also drain into the azagous venous system. The right bronchial vein drains into the azagous vein. The left bronchial vein either drains into left superior intercostal vein or drains into accessory azagous vein. The accessory azagous vein may communicate above with the left superior intercostal vein and below with the hemiazagous vein. The anterior intercostal veins drain into the internal thoracic vein and musculophrenic vein. Now let's discuss the portal venous system. The portal vein is formed by the union of splenic vein and superior mesenteric vein behind the neck of pancreas at the level of L2 vertebra. The trunk of the portal vein passes upwards, reaches the porta hepatis, and it divides into right and left branches. 
The right branch receives cystic vein. And the left branch receives para umbilical vein. The right and left portal vein supply the physiological right and left lobes of liver respectively. Each branch of portal vein enters the liver, divides into portal venules, then it drains into hepatic sinusoids, then it drains into central vein, which then drain into hepatic vein, and into the inferior vena cava. The trunk of the portal vein receives left and right gastric veins. The inferior mesenteric vein drains into the splenic vein. The other tributaries of splenic vein are short gastric veins, pancreatic veins, and left gastroepiploic vein. The tributaries of superior mesenteric vein are right gastroepiploic vein, middle colic vein, right colic vein, and iliacolic vein. The ileal and jejunal veins also drain into superior mesenteric vein. The tributaries of inferior mesenteric vein are left colic vein, sigmoidal vein, and superior rectal vein. Let's now discuss the porta cable anastomosis. First communication is at the lower end of the esophagus, the tributaries of left gastric vein of portal system, anastomos with esophageal tributaries of hemiazygous veins of cable system. In portal hypertension, these veins distend to form the esophageal varices. Second communication is at the lower end of rectum and anal canal. The superior rectal vein of portal system communicates with middle and inferior rectal veins of cable system. In portal hypertension these veins enlarge to form internal hemorrhoids. Third communication is at the umbilicus. The paraumbilical vein of portal system communicates with lateral thoracic, superior epigastric, superficial epigastric, and inferior epigastric veins of cable system. In portal hypertension, these veins distend to form caput medusae. Fourth site of porta cable communication is at retroperitoneum, between splenic vein and left renal vein, and between left colic vein and left renal vein. The other sites of communications are, at the bare area of liver, in the falciform ligament, and at the fissure for the ligamentum venosum. Now let's discuss the cardiac venous drainage. The great cardiac vein and the oblique vein of left atrium unites to form the coronary sinus. The great cardiac vein runs along the left anterior descending artery. The other tributaries of coronary sinus are small cardiac veins, the posterior vein of the left ventricle, and the middle cardiac vein. The middle cardiac vein runs along the posterior descending artery. The coronary sinus opens into the right atrium, often guarded by Thebesian valve. There are anterior cardiac veins, which drain directly into the right atrium. There are also veni, cordis minimi, these veins open into different chambers of the heart via the foramen minimarum. This completes the venous system of thorax and abdomen.